Formula One fever is still going strong, and today we managed to speak to some of the team pilots of the Renault team. Now, Vitaly Petrov is a very controversial character because he's been in Renault for only one year. Very famously, his father paid 15 million euros for him for one season to be racing. And, of course, Kimi Raikkonen is now eyeing his spot. So what does he think of his season so far and what are his chances of staying in the Renault team? We ask him. So Vitaly, it's almost close to the end of the F1 season, nearing the end. What do you think of his season so far? Ah, season is great, you know, it's always was quite a good race, quite bad race, so we're still working. Now it's final five races will be quite difficult, but it's also good for our car and it will be quite interesting to see it. Tell us a little bit more about yourself back in Russia. I didn't do so many races, I did I never did karting. So I came back in uh, Formula 1 car without uh, a lot of experience. So I did quite touring cars and Formula 3000 and GP2 and Formula 1. Of course, Formula 1 is the great uh, category in the world, so it's great to drive this car. Now, if you've never done karting before, um, what kind of experience did you have previously? Were you driving recklessly as a youth teen or something? No, I drive just touring car. I find, uh, I don't know, I was just feeling good, feeling the car. And then this is why I'm feeling another like GP2 in the Formula 1. Now, your father very famously paid for you to actually be in Renault. So why and uh, do you think it was worth it? Was it a dream or something? Mm, yeah, of course. We spent nine years in uh, racing and then one day we decided, okay, we can do in Formula 1, we can try. We have experience, so... And then, and we did this. It's expensive, though. Is it worth it? No, it's not. It's, it's we're not paying. My father was not paying. It was paid the sponsor. So now uh, you also keep mentioning your father, your mother all the time. How close are you to your family? I always close to my family, but they not always follow me because it's, they it's quite they quite busy and it's quite far to fly. So they always watching the TV. You're very, the weather is very different, Russia to Singapore. How are you adjusting to the weather? I don't know, you need just to be outside much more when you arrive here in Singapore, training outside because it's weather is really difficult, it's very hot. And uh, also the weather is, uh, now is changing quite a lot. Maybe today it will be rain, so it was, will be quite difficult. It's hot and humid, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite similar to Malaysia. Has always been a bit tricky for all the drivers, especially in Asia, because it's a huge downpour. So, any uh, racing strategies that you guys will be using for tires this time around? Yeah, of course, it's everything we will be choose, but after the testing and qualifying, because first of all, we need to understand how the fi the tires is feeling here, because it's my first time here. I must to, first of all to learn the circuit and to understand a lot of things, and then of course we will be decide what we will be doing. It's your first time on the circuit, like you said, and it's always been said to be a really tough circuit because it's bumpy and everything. So, uh, which corner or turn are you most afraid of? So it doesn't matter really because I, I still didn't drive to drive in Formula One and this circuit. So, let's ask me after a few hours. Now, what do you do in your free time to relax? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Just stay in the bed or go to sauna or you know. Go to swim, something like this. Do you have any pets or anything to help you de-stress? Probably everything would have an engine. Well, good luck for today's uh, for the weekend race. Um, how do you expect to finish? Ah, it will be difficult to say. This track is quite tough and difficult because it will be can be rain. So it will be interesting to see the race. I hope we will be in front. Last but not least, do you think you'll be staying on with Renault? I hope so. Thank okay. you. Good luck for this weekend. Thank you. We also managed to catch a little one-on-one -on -one time with the other third driver, Mr. Ho Pang. So find out more in the next clip.